Don't look in the freezer. My wife's head's in there. All right. Um, so yeah, what we got? Some shallots that are gonna go in there. Some diced cordichon. Some Dijon, Tabasco, Worcestershire, horseradish, salt and pepper to season. Um, So excited to be here with you today to prepare one of my favorite meals, steak tartare. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? Fuck. <laughs> All right, we're here today. We're going to be checking out one of my favorite. We're going to be checking it out. We're going to be checking out the beef fillet because today we're going to make steak tartare. One of my absolute favorite dishes. Okay, this is a classic. I believe it, uh, I think it's from France, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, this dish was developed, I think, in the 80s. I think some history was, it's from a Slovakian uh, nation that used to be just uh, beef with like a sauce. Um, but this is jazzed up a little bit, you know, like the Parisians like to jazz things up a bit. All right, so let's check it out. Our main ingredient is this beautiful beef fillet. I mean, just look at it. Get, get in here. Look at this. That's a nice tender cut of beef tenderloin. Okay, aged. Perfect. So what we got, some diced shallots, cornichon, salt and pepper to season, Tabasco, Worcestershire, Dijon, horseradish. Uh, we're gonna do a vinaigrette with some oil and uh, red. Um, red wine vinegar. That's right. So, what's the easiest thing to do? The easiest thing to do is you want to. Fuck. All right. So first, we need to pop this in the freezer for uh, about 20 minutes, 30 minutes to uh, firm it up. It's, it's pretty malleable right now and that's gonna become difficult uh, when you start to prepare it. Um, so, it's still pretty soft. So, quite nice actually. All right, so we're gonna put this in the freezer for about 20 minutes, half an hour, and uh, that's gonna firm it up nice so we can process it later. Um, yep. Yeah. Right now we got like, I don't know, we got like half an hour. What's that? I don't know. You didn't hear that? The, the, like the, like the weasel? Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. We'll do a uh, steak peppercorn sauce. Uh, okay, what do I need? I need to hammer it. Got this nice tenderloin here. They get out all your anger. There's so much anger going on right now, you know? Trump? Coronavirus? Uh, poverty? Capitalism? So this is a good, uh, you know, I like to uh, take this. Cling film. Look at that. And we're just gonna. I was taught, you know, when I was young, my mother taught me to season steak with salt and pepper. Yeah, but I was so fascinated with the beef cube, you know? Look at this, this is like, this is the essence of, of, of beef. You know, if you think about what went into making this little, this looks like hash, you know? But if you think about what into, when it went into this, there's the life of the cow, the industrialization of sustenance with factory farming. So this 
product was raised, treated very poorly, filed into a slaughterhouse, hung up, probably had a bolt to the brain, which killed it instantly. Not to mention the PTSD from the factory workers. I mean, come on. So anyway, we're gonna use this. So in a bowl, we wanna make a paste. It's good. So we don't need a season. This is our seasoning. There's everything. This is the essence of beef going on to the beef. So we have the essence of the beef being projected literally onto the beef itself. So make a paste. Get in there. Just work it. It'll break down. The granules. Perfect. So about a half a cube will do. And there's so much flavor packed into that. Like so much. Just massage. Okay, now this is pretty firm, so we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. And in the meantime, we can prep uh, some other stuff that's gonna go in the sauce. We'll do some mushrooms. Just keep rolling, I'm just gonna wash my hands. People like to wash their mushrooms. I like the dirt, you know. It, it, I like the dirt. I like the shit that is on here. It adds more flavor. If you think about all the stuff that went into making the dirt that grew these, just trim this off. What is that? Nobody likes that. So we're gonna do quarters, I think. So half, ready? Come get in this, watch. Ready? Say three, two, one, go. Say three, two, one, go. Say three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. See that? Again. See, mushrooms are the easiest to chop fast. No one knows that. Nobody knows that. Faster. Again. Look at my face. In a hot pan. Okay, this, I bought this baguette earlier. This is the saddest excuse for a baguette. Can you imagine? Look at this. Not enough. You need a hot pan. Otherwise you just boil the meat if it's not hot. Just you need to hear that And we want to seal it. We want that nice caramelization, you know? This is gonna be kind of like a steak Diane, another dish from the 80s. I think typically they would do this table side. And we'll deglaze with white wine. We'll use a chicken stock cube. Maybe some brandy for theatrics. I can feel it cooking through my fingertips. Get in there. Thirty more seconds. Okay, that's good. Take it out. Let that rest. Off the heat. Uh, Deglaze with some brandy and then white wine, chicken broth, reduce, cream, butter, peppercorns. 
that. Mushroom. This is unnecessary, but for the thematics. Ooh, that's sweet. Let that boil down. About a quarter cup white wine. Reduce that. You know, a nice pan sauce should be about, there's no recipe, you know. People always say, where's, you know, where's the recipe? It's like, it's what you want, you know? What do you feel like? Reduce that, add the cream, reduce it, some pepper, steak back in, we're done. You know, people think you eat a cream sauce, it's unhealthy. I don't eat it every day. What's unhealthy is if you don't eat. So. You know, what makes, what makes a steak, a peppered steak and cream sauce, a peppered steak and cream sauce? You know, what makes steak Diane a steak Diane? You know, when do you, you take certain ingredients out and it no longer becomes steak Diane. So there's a threshold. You know, it's all about that threshold, that intermediary area. You know, what are the ingredients to an identity? If a steak Diane has a specific identity, what elements, you know, what agents act as a proxy to make it a steak Diane? You know, is it the flambe? You know, is it the mushrooms? Does it have to be done table side? Am I table side? Do you see a table? Well, the cream to color, you know, if you like it stronger, the darker. I don't like mine strong. So let that reduce, Add in some butter, some pepper. And I like it quite hot, so a bit more pepper. This is ridiculous. I need a bigger spoon. Now that is a creamed sauce. Okay. Mmm. Steak in. like the supermarket you know everything's fresh everything's perfect green bananas perfect no bruises perfect everything looks like a picture okay this is good it's plate sauce oh my god look at that all right Okay, everyone's ready? Let's do the steak tartare now. So what we got is I cut some uh, nice thin slices for the crostini from that pathetic excuse of a baguette. Um, so we're just gonna put a little olive oil on them and put them in the oven and then we'll prepare the beef. So just drizzle a bit of olive oil. The oven. So you gotta always keep an eye out for these. Okay, remind me, uh, five minutes. Oh, another thing is we're gonna do some endive cups too. That's a nice uh, vegan option. Uh, oh, I guess gluten-free option uh, if you can't have the baguette. We need the steak, which is should be in the freezer, but that's, see that's nice and firm. 
Okay. All right, so we're going to start by thin slices. Actually, let's use this. About a quarter inch. So you can dice this however fine you want. It's your choice. If you like it chunky, don't dice it as much. If you don't like it chunky, dice it more. It's simple, no real recipe. You know, recipe should just be guidelines. If it's a little cold coming out of the freezer, it'll warm up by handling it. And now we can go in Now there's a word for this in French, but I don't know it. So. You know, I'm fine with this. I always thought, you know, if I was to try human, it would definitely be tartare. Apparently human tastes like pork. Some cannibalistic cultures call it long pig. I can see the resemblance. Similar diet. We eat shit. So that's good. But in our bowl here, we'll add a couple of teaspoons of shallot. Corichon, a bit more, some wine vinegar, Worcestershire, Tabasco, what the fuck? Come on. Dijon. Just one teaspoon. Horseradish. To taste. If you like it spicy, add more. If you don't, don't add any. Dash of oil. Let's get that mixed up. Add our beef. Pepper. Take the time. You know, you've already taken the time to prepare the beef. Take the time, crumple it up, mix, give it a good mix, a little taste, mm. okay, so now we're going to make a mold, get some cling. I don't have a ring, so this is another cheat. Get a ramekin. And with the beef. Pat that down. Put that back in the fridge for five minutes and we'll let that set. Let all the flavors come into the beef. Let it break down, let it unify, okay? Like a good culture, like a good multicultural society. It takes time. In the fridge.
Beautiful, look at that. Nature's Cup. I like endive. It's a very clean flavor. It's nice, it's neutral. Lay those out. Okay, good. Cut. Cut! Cut! And camera two rolling. And. All right, so it's been about five, 10 minutes, which is perfect for letting the tartar sit and rest. So let's take it out and we'll plate. And we've got the crostinis, should be perfect, beautiful. A little hot, fuck it. Look at that. Hurry, it's hot, look at it. Beautiful. Okay, so. Right here, it's a trick of the trade. Three Hail Marys. Just kidding, I'm not Catholic. <laughs> Beautiful, look at that. Throw that in the garbage. Okay, let's plate, oh no. And the final touch, the yolk. The nice leaf. Beautiful. Plate it, some crostini. just for effect. Voila! Steak tartare at home. My way. Cut. Okay, now we do this. And cutting camera two and cutting camera one. Now we do the slow-mo. No, for the insurance. What's that? The insurance. Okay. What do, I, do I have to do anything? Uh, no. I mean, this is for the time where you're saying like, okay, okay, we have some salad. Yeah. We have some pickle. Do you want to do that? Because you need to put some more here. Oh, for that? No, we don't need to do that. Okay. Yeah. Can you think about it? Do you need any sort of, like, any, like, close-up, close-up for this, like, after the beginning? No, it's okay. I'll just do all that shitty, like, cropping for that. You know what I mean? I, mean, I don't have any more to stuff yeah, to prep. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna like, to do this. Yeah. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my lenses, okay? Okay. I'm gonna put the the, the f two point zero. 